All right, everyone, here we go. Welcome back. And today, our 15 minutes workout, we'll be doing what we call the split squat. I'm going to explain everything for you uh, from the technique and to the options you have to do this movement. And of course, you can do this at home. You can do anywhere you can do. We don't have any, you don't need any equipment except a chair or a bench or something that you're going to put your feet up there for you to perform the exercise. Okay. Let's begin, very simple for you. So let's say if I have my chair, my bench or anything, what you wanna do is pretty much put one of your legs on the top of the chair or the bench or whatever you have there. You have two choices if you want. You can just pretty much, you can see my feet, rest my feet up on the bench or the box that you have there, or take a look. You can step on it, okay? There's no wrong or right, of course, if you step on it, you have a little bit more help from this back leg to do the movement. If I wanna pretty much isolate the movement in my front leg, I just pretty much rest my leg back there and I perform the movement, okay? What you're gonna try to do is, is just pretty much a lunge. You're gonna take this back knee and bring all the way down, you almost reach the floor, you bring it up and that's it. All right, let me explain for, let me demonstrate for you and we can get this thing going. So I'm gonna put my feet up there. Most important thing, I choose to rest my leg. I'll keep myself upright, so my post is upright. And I'm gonna do, just gonna bring my body down, as you can see my back knee going towards the floor, and I just get up there. It looks pretty simple, but of course, when you do the movement, you will see how intense it is. Okay, so once again, feet up there, you're gonna pretty much lunge back, back knee towards the ground, and all the way up there. Hands anywhere you want to have, helping you to balance for you to do the movement, okay? Let me show you from the front, so as you can see, the alignment of your leg as well. So one leg, pretty much same line than the hips, another one goes back there, I position myself all the way down, I'll make sure this is flat, I'm not shaking my knee, it's straight, and then go all the way up there, pretty much that way, okay? Of course, you do one leg, you finish to the other leg. But now I'm gonna pass you the 15 minutes, the 15 minutes challenge for you. So what you're gonna try to do is this. Once you're positioning well the technique, see if you can do this for yourself. Each leg, you're gonna perform for one and a half minutes. Okay, so imagine you go right leg, one and a half, finish, switch quickly there, left leg, one and a half. And then you have a total of three minutes. You will try to do this for five times non-stop. So one and a half, one and a half. You finish, repeat for five times. And there you go, your 15 minutes, okay? I want you to give it a try. I want you to, first things first, check your technique, make sure your posture is right, uh, and just go through the workout, okay? If, of course, if you're in a level that you can push more, you can grab, a couple of dumbbells or something you can carry in your hands and can do the same thing with weights. This is your option if you want to. But I can guarantee without nothing, just pretty much the position and yourself non-stop, the five rounds, one and a half, one and a half, this is times five for the 15 minutes, you'll be killer, all right? Enjoy, I wanna see you training, I wanna see how much you feel, and I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.